Hello world, welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Tiny ML and IoT on the edge using Jetson Nano. All right, guys. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to connect Jetson Nano with Edge Impulse platform. All right, guys. So let's do one thing. Just make sure that your Jetson Nano is connected with uh, your USB microphone and uh, the USB web camera. All right. Let me share my Jetson Nano screen. I am going to just boot into that right now. Here you go. I am on my Jetson Nano screen. So let me take you through step by step. So first thing what you need to do, open the browser on your Jetson Nano. Guys, this screen is your Jetson Nano desktop. All right. So keep a note of it on your Jetson Nano desktop. You need to open the browser. Okay on the browser just type edge impulse e d g e edge edge impulse and the first link the first url that is what you will be following through and i'll walk you through step by step it's taking a while to open i don't know why this is kind of surprising generally it shouldn't take so much time let me try to minimize and see what happens okay there you go sometime it acts weird okay let's let's keep it to the minimum size and look into this all right so first thing what you need to do guys you need to create a user id and a password in edgeimpulse.com okay this is the platform where you will be training your sensor information gather information from the sensors from the camera and and you know tons of other stuff you you will gather the data use edge impulse platform and train the data build your machine learning algorithm and deploy that particular trained model into jetson nano again either jetson nano or any other microcontroller devices so i am going to show you how so once you create your user id and password so let me just log in i have already done that you can just click sign up and create your user id and password so my id and password has already been done so that's where it shows my name, Anbu Kumar. And what you need to do, uh, let me go through, this is not required, we need to go through the documentation part, which is critical. I'll just show you in a minute. Training the model documentation, there you go. If you go to the documentation, it will open up on another window. In this window, what we need to do, all right, this is acting weird. Jetson Nano connected to my desktop. Sometime it just, all right. So if you go towards the left, if you see get started, getting started and stuff, below that there are development boards, right? There are multiple development boards, including Arduino Nano, and there are tons of other boards select Jetson Nano okay there is also Raspberry Pi and you can also use your mobile phone to collect data but we are going to use Jetson Nano in this case let's select Jetson Nano guys this is on Jetson Nano desktop whatever screen you are seeing the browser and stuff this is all on Jetson Nano you need to do this on your Jetson Nano not on your Windows machine or or any other machine so once you go to Jetson Nano we need to execute a setup process so first what we need to do let's see if our jetson nano is connected to the internet okay so we need to run this ping command how do we run it copy that particular command and open the terminal on the terminal just right click paste this command hit enter 
once you hit enter there you go so i can see three packets transmitted three received and zero percent uh, packet loss which is fine so i am connected to my google uh, network which is fantastic now we need to do the actual setup so the setup is here it's mentioned very clearly it's a very well documented on the edge impulse uh, platform itself running the setup script so this basically this particular command line if you execute this is going to look for the jetson nano uh, gpu pl platform connected to the edge impulse platform and it's going to run certain script where your device is going to be detected recognize and detect in the platform so that is the purpose of this particular script so let's let's run through this just copy this entire command line right click okay you can copy it here itself copy and i will put this on the terminal right click paste i have already done this so this might this command might take about for you guys for the first time uh, when you run this is going to take at least three to four minutes since i have already done it so it might take little less time there you go so this is going to basically look for your hardware devices which is connected this will also detect your uh, microphone and uh, usb camera which is plugged into jetson nano so let it run guys do not disturb uh, do not do anything on the terminal after you execute this particular command let it run let's wait for a couple of minutes it's still running all right i think it's going smooth this is kind of weird because i have already uh, done it this is the second time uh, but still it's taking time anyways we got to there's something which we cannot help so let the terminal uh, uh, get through this entire uh, setup process uh, do not do anything uh, do not uh, close the terminal just leave it open it's going to take a couple of minutes and be patient till you get your user id at the end at the end of the screen till that time you got to be really patient and leave it as it is all right guys so this is all this is done completely now if you, if you look at here uh, it clearly says that edge impulse dash linux at the rate 1.2.5 all right so our setup script is absolutely great this is so now that we got the confirmation your setup script is has executed successfully on your jetson nano now we need to configure this to connect your jetson nano to the edge impulse platform right let me show you how to do that so go to the browser again and there is a command line connecting to edge impulse right so this is what you are going to copy copy this particular command right click copy and then go to the terminal let me clear this go to the terminal and then right click and paste this particular command line edge dash impulse dash linux there you go what is your name or email address all right so let me put my email address what is your password password once you type it of course it's it's uh, hidden on the screen you cannot see it all right select a microphone or run this command with disable microphone all right select a microphone i already have uh, which one i think this is the one use the arrow keys which is the one i have i have the second one there you go let me hit enter using the microphone or a fail to initiate uh, cannot find any webcams that's kind of oh, okay i'm sorry i haven't connected my webcam so let me just connect it
guys make sure that your webcam and your microphone is connected or else you will end up in multiple errors and you got to debug it all right there you go so you can see this green screen so that means your microphone and your camera is getting detected all right guys so that's it for this lesson and i am going to be back soon in the next lesson and show you the next steps goodbye then